Jeff Jobs Jr. Alright, hello everybody. I am Orson, second period, Mr. Newton's class, doing the 2002 AP Calculus AB Free Response Question number two. Now, which is the rate at which people enter amusement park on a given day is modeled by function e defined by uh, e of t equals 15600 t squared minus 24t plus 160, and the rate at which people leave is 9890 t squared minus 38t plus 370, and that is l of t. Both these functions are valid. Measuring people per hour is a rate, and time is measured in hours after midnight. The functions are valid for not t between 9 and 23, the hours during which the park is open. At time equals 9, there are no people in the park, so the park is empty at the beginning of the day. Now for question A. How many people have entered at 5 p.m.? t equals 17. Now your answer to the nearest whole number. It is simply a, basically a integral. This is a rate, so all you need to do is an integral to get the number of people. So integral of e to, of t from 9 to 17, because 9 here and 17 here, you're supposed to round your answer to nearest whole number. And so simply, you have to you have to put dt2, That's this is pretty straightforward, you just punch in your graphic calculator. And, um, you know, the only difficult part of this, it would be, you know, remembering the d of t, but that's, you know, knowing which function to use and typing it correctly in the calculator. But overall, it is a very straightforward, simple um, question. And there's, you know, it's, it's just, just, just pretty simple. And, uh, x squared minus 24x plus 160. And parentheses and dx. Enter. You get 6004.27 people. You round to the nearest whole number. 6004 people. People in entered part by t equals 17. 5 o'clock p.m. All right. And that's pretty simple. That's it. You know, not, nothing too complicated. And you know you don't need to put do do uh add any initial condition because at the time of starting there's no people in the park it's empty, and uh, that's it. So number A, number B. Now that's price submission park set fifteen dollars until t equals seven. Price submission is eleven after five p.m. How many dollars collected? So basically it's just um, integral from of from 9 to 17 of e of t dt this is the number of people from at this rate the 15 dollars rate so we multiply that by 15 this is the number of people add to the integral of the people that have entered the park from 17 to 23 of e t dt now these people at the discount 11 dollar rate so you do that you punch it into graphing calculator so here on my calculator, I already have this part, and you ha I won't have to multiply that by 15 equals that. I can store that as A, and we all we have to do is do integrate um, from 17 to 23, this part, which is 15,600. Divided by, um, divided by x squared minus 24x plus 160. In parentheses, dx equals times 11 equals, and add this part, which is set to a, equals 1, 1, 4048, and this part, 0.165, you can round it up because the question says round up. Round, I mean, down, sorry, you round down as the question says round, and this is your revenue. And for this question, you would have earned the points for the setup only, uh, which is actually surprisingly less points than you would have earned for A, where you earn one point for the integrands, one point for the limits, and one point for the answer. Anyway, and for number B, this problem, number B, there's nothing really challenging about it. 
It's, you know, pretty straightforward. Just know the uh, the limits, and that's pretty much it. Number C. Uh, my new time, good. Let h of t equals uh, integral from 9 to t, e of x minus l of x dx <coughs> for 9. Uh, for time is 9 to 23, value h 17, nearest whole number is 37 25, value and value of h prime 17, and explain the meaning of h 17 and h prime 17. Now, if h of t, t equals integral 9 to t, and, which is in this case is 17, of e of x minus l of x dx, then h prime t is just simply take away the integral, which is e of x. Uh, minus L of X, um, that's H of X, and then H prime 17 equals E of 17 minus L of 17, which with some calculator work is basically 15,600 divided by 17 times 17 minus 17 times 24 plus 160, that equals this number, and then you subtract L of T from it, L of 17, I'm sorry, from it, which is 9890 divided by parentheses 17 times 17 minus 38 times 17 plus 370. That answer gives you negative 380.281 Round answer to the whole the nearest whole numbers. So it's approximately negative 380. Now, which h prime 17 equals this number. And this is a rate. Power. Now, this also means rate of change of people in park at t equals 17. This t of 17 is very, very important. This is probably the only tricky part in the question. Knowing, putting t of 17, this is this will lose you a point if you do not reference this one. Um, so, and this would also get you a point. And uh, h of 17, which equals 37.25 for the problem, you need the meaning of that, which is the number of people in park at t equals 17, and this is very important, you lose a point if you do not re reference it. D, at what time for 9, t between 9 and 23, does multiply the number of people in park, is at a maximum? Pretty simple on this one. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just basically, h prime of t, equals because number of people is represented by this function h h t which is integral h pr and to know when a function is maximum you have to take the derivative and set it to zero to get your significant values and since this is an integral to make the derivative of it is just e of x minus l of x and now this has to equal zero this is very important you have to do a point you know but, and then you just do e of x equals l of x. Since it's calculative, you can graph it, which I already have punched in here. You graph it, and then you go second, trade calculator, and uh, intersect. First curve inner, second curve inner, guess inner. And your answer is 15.7948, which if you truncate, like me, you do 15.794. If you round, it's 15 point seven nine five seven nine five uh people when t so basically when t equals this number that is when there is a maximum number of people in this park thanks for watching